Chapter 9. Here I was again, halfway down the world, huh? the bodies of women I was supposed to protect. Only difference now is, I didn't understand the language. Mm, he looks a little nervous. We could take advantage of that, perhaps. Haven't you figured out I don't speak your fucking language? That's right, I may be a moron. But here's the thing. Ooh. There you go. Can I kill him, the little scared boy? Back in action already, huh? It was time to get out of there. It seemed like someone had decided to carry out some impromptu justice on the street life below. I'd failed Rodrigo and I'd failed Fabiana. In that awful night truck, the stadium, the docks. That's a pretty strong win that right that helicopter emitted. Perhaps this was my punishment from the fates. Keep reliving the same mistakes for all eternity. It was a goddamn war zone. I had to assume Giovanna and Marcella were out there somewhere. Maybe I still had a chance to get somebody in that family through the day in one piece. Oh, dude, what did the meth lab explode or something, Walter White? What's going on here now? The place was swarming with cops. They weren't there for me, as far as I could tell. And I'd blundered my way into enough cluster fucks for one day. If these fools could buy me some time, I might have a chance to get to Marcelo and Giovanna before somebody put a bullet in their heads, too. Ruh -ruh. Getting spooky now. This is my kind of game. Just running and not gunning. Just enjoying the sights with nobody trying to cap me. When two gang forces are going against each other like this, that's always the greatest in a video Marcella were still alive, but I didn't hold out much hope they'd stay that way for long. I'd already lost the ransom money, got the hostage killed, and I was only just getting started. This was turning into another fine example of private security work. Ain't nobody trying to cap me, right? I'm just, I'm just running by. Everybody else is doing their thing and I'm doing mine. That's good, that's real good. Heard about these raids. Rena thugs and body armor sending a message to the poor that the cops are still in charge. When they hit the favelas, they came in hard and fast. And it was fair game, as I was about to find out. Oh, I see. Now I'm supposed to cap them hard, huh? Okay, well, man, we're playing with me now. Boy, you're gonna get these hands right quick. Cause I ain't playing around. I'm through with these clowns right now, player partner. I don't have any PK. So where the painkillers at now? Come on, partner. I could use some painkillers after that arousing event that took place. I'm about to get capped. I'm gonna die. I'm really, truly gonna die. What kind of guns are these? They look stupid. Oh, I like this gun, though. This is my kind of weaponry. Oh, what, are they waiting for me or something? They knew. They really knew. PK? A PK? Examine blood day? 55. I'd seen that number before. Well, yeah, it's a number. Were these the same blood it's between one and one hundred. ...that showed up after the shootout at the party. The odds of me getting out of there alive, let alone Giovanna and Marcello, were narrowing with every passing second. 
Painkillers. Painkillers. Got painkillers, ma'am. Painkillers. I'm white. I know that's scary in this country, but painkillers. My yes. Body ached and my eyes burned. I needed something to straighten me out. Yeah, something to take the edge off. We can all appreciate that. Oh, afraid of me, huh? You should be. I'm white. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Oh dear. That one canister of painkillers wasn't exactly efficient enough. I'm finna die again. That's grotesque. Straight through the back of the dome, huh? Appreciate that quick death. Wasn't dragged out or nothing. That was clean. Real good, real good. Now I got my full health back. Nothing wrong with that. What is this? I thought aim assist was on now, player. You gotta play harder. What's that? Wait a minute now, come on. What the hell was that? I don't even know what I just aimed at there. Let's keep reloading, keep reloading. It's always good to reload. The turtle! I'm a turtle. I like turtles. Very good, very good. Classy, very classy stuff. Slow motion! Give me something in your head too. Can I give the pilot something good too? Or not? Nah, I see. Bad. Very bad. For them. Whee! The ghetto slides continue. I like that. That was fun, I'm sure. A little painful perhaps, but he's on painkillers, guys. Don't forget that. He's killing his pain the only way he knows how. I was still alive and still not all that happy about it. Why did the easy way out never come? Maybe I thought I didn't deserve it. Is it me or is Max Payne wishing that he was dead or something? Hmm? That's always a good sign. <laughs> Oh, hello guys. How you doing today? Don't mind me, guys. Well, can you die? There you go. Now you're getting it. Just lay down and die. That's all you have to... Oh, did you see that, everybody? Did you see that? Painkillers. Check it out. I can examine the Man, buggy. I was guessing these guys didn't spend their spare time studying the Geneva Convention. The Geneva Convention yet? Jesus Christ, these bastards weren't playing games. These were the same paramilitary cops I had seen executing fools after the failed kidnapping at the party. Nasty business. If these were the guys De Silva was worried about, maybe he had a point. Yes, this was definitely them. Jesus Christ, these bastards made the NYPD look like the Hare Krishnas. It's a little dark out now, actually. The sun is set. But I had the feeling it wasn't this place looked pretty dangerous else. during the day, but now it's nighttime. This is the animal's lair now. I've played Dying Light, I've beaten no that option, game. I know what this place is going to be like at night. These charmers weren't there to make a couple of arrests. They were bussing them out by the dozen. 
but who was I to cast judgment on proper police procedure and justifiable use of force? He sure is a little tapered up today. That's no good. Bang. Well, I just popped some painkillers now. You don't have to kill me already, do you? I mean, Jesus, come on now. I could use some more ammo, though. Yeah, enough playing around now. Oh, we. Thank you. May I have another, sir? That was very much appreciated. I could use a nice bullet through the head every once in a while. I'm glad it occurred. Uh-oh, I walked into something I'm not prepared for. Story of my life, though. Can these punk asses die a little easier, perhaps? to basics. Great. Oh, back to the pistol. How appreciative can I be? Uh-huh. A little more for you. Yeah, there you go, you clown. Some bullets to the temple for you. Who else wants some? Everybody? Everybody and nobody? Where you at now? Everybody hiding or something? Now that they realize I'm not playing around. seemed like as good a place as any to lie low and get my bearings. Problem was, some other fine gentleman had the same idea. I'd gone from that's violent. Out of luck to unarmed and shit out of luck. Another reminder, not that I needed one, that any low point can always go lower, as my new friends were about to find out. That was Sao good. Paulo's finest and a busload of lucky winners they picked out earlier. That was a prime example of karma, I believe you could call it. I decided I might as well follow them. I was lost and they were going somewhere. And it was the closest I was going to get to a plan. Where were they taking them? Did they have Marcello and Giovanna? Was this just an average favela raid or something more? When all you're left with is questions, I guess your only option is to go with your gut. And my gut was telling me that band of merry men would lead me to some answers. Answers I'd soon wish I'd never received. What was going on here? They looked like the same paramilitaries from the stadium and office attacks. Something felt wrong. It's a conspiracy fact, theory. Uh-oh. felt wrong. Anytime those guys decided to join the party, you could be sure it wasn't going to end in a piñata and a slice of cake. What the fuck was this? The vigilantes doing an exchange with the death squad cops? Were they buying people? What the hell for? None of this made too much sense. These two were serious operatives. One was a band of hired killers and the other supposed to keep the peace. Yet they were doing deals. 
Now I had to find Giovanna and Marcello. Without a better plan, I thought I'd better follow this bastard. Here was Giovanna and Marcello. What the hell were they about to do to him? Yeah, yo, 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 get him more, get him more. Keep getting him. Yeah, leave that machete holstered in his neck. I like that. Fabiano doesn't look so Fabio anymore, huh? His hair got burned off. That is a shame in itself. So everybody gets to die in this game, it almost seems. That's always good. Good sign, real good sign. So far, there's been about four casualties. It's a legendary gang way of killing people. These are no ordinary street gang. I guess they want people to think they are. With this, they can justify the killings of today and the people they took. Shh. Quem fez isso? Foi um americano. Foi? Foi? He's blaming you for the death of his friend. After a couple of hours of lying and shit, you learn to appreciate what you've got. And right now, all we had was each other. I was a wreck, and Giovanna, well, I knew what she'd seen no amount of drugs or therapy could erase. That kind of pain follows you around forever. The constant shadow of a wasted life. The poor girl had been through enough. We had to find a way out of there. All right. I believe this is a proper stopping point at this point. When we return, it'll be chapter 10. Exciting stuff, huh?